The Fountain Day 15, He Waits. Earlier last year, one of my sisters gave birth. This was her second child, and as with her first, she invited me to be her birth coach. As you can imagine, I was thrilled. There's nothing quite like being in the room when a new life enters and takes its first breath outside the womb. One evening, as I was rolling over to go to sleep, she called. It was time. I was so excited, but prayed the whole drive from McAllister, Oklahoma to Little Rock, Arkansas, because I didn't want to miss the birth. Something inside of me knew the baby would come quickly this time. So as I drove, I prayed. When I arrived and walked into the hospital room, I knew immediately that we were moments away from seeing this baby be born. I only had time to say hello, use the restroom, and then suddenly all the nurses and doctors came rushing in and a beautiful baby was born after a few pushes. It was intense, a whirlwind of sorts. Later, my sister told me that she had remained still and hadn't done certain things until I arrived because she also knew that the baby was coming quickly. She too was praying I wouldn't miss it. What an amazing gift. As I have pondered these events, I have realized some ways that this scenario coincides with the way God invites us to partner with him. He can do everything on his own, but he chooses to include us. I wonder how often we feel like life is delayed or held up, but really he's just waiting for us to arrive in the exact place he wants us to be to birth our miracle. He could do it without us, but he loves partnership. My sister didn't have to have me present for the baby to come, but she wanted me to be there. Isn't that how God is too? I implore you today to look around and see if there are any places in your life that God is trying to partner with you. Have you arrived yet? Are you stalling? Have you simply not taken enough time to notice his invitation? He's worth the wait for us. <clears throat> Can you see today that he thinks you're worth the wait too? Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Lamentations 3, 22 through 26. God, draw me into a position to partner with you in the creating of the miracle moments you are desperate to release into my life. I say yes. I will follow you anywhere. I long to partner with you, just as you long to partner with me. Help me to always be aware of the places you are moving. Show me the open doors and lead me through them. I receive the fullness of your blessings now and forevermore. I adore you. In Jesus' name, amen.